Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. About to start working on this pontoon boat and that uh, wakeboard boat. Uh, I've already gone up in both the boats and pulled out all the stuff from the interior and, and all the hatches and that kind of thing. And so now I'm gonna go up with some of my Marine Series uh, mold and mildew cleaner and I'm gonna clean off all of the top sides of all this vinyl. Let me show you. So, ugh. you can see it's just generally dirty, but all of this mold on the vinyl's gotta go. Uh, yes. See how yucky those jams are. Uh, before we go getting those wet though, uh, I'm gonna bring the vacuum up and vacuum everything. You wanna vacuum first before you get anything wet. That way you're not creating more issues for yourself. You see how just generally dirty this is. Over there, same thing. Uh, that vinyl doesn't have any mold on it. It's just pretty dirty because it's all white. So we're gonna get that knocked out too. Um, but instead of shooting two different videos, I'm going to shoot just this one longer video uh, on both these boats. So we're, we're going to be knocking them out, both of these out today. So you see how dirty the floor is and how nasty it is. It sits in the back on a dock way back there, but uh, not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and start treating this vinyl with the uh, Marine Series uh, mold and mildew cleaner uh, and then everything's gonna get coated with super 7 I'm gonna polish all of this area here all the way around and then everything's getting super 7 on all of it all the vinyl uh, the floors also because that's a vinyl uh, overlay and then all over the painted area and the aluminum framing for the fence basically so all right so we got tony over there getting getting to work i'm over here getting to work and we're going to knock these both out today so we'll bring you back when i've got more progress but i just wanted to show you how bad this vinyl was um before i got rolling on it here we go all right i got all the vinyl looking pretty respectable compared to how it was And I got all the interior hatches cleaned out really well. All the jams are clean. You can see I've been scrubbing the floor. I keep a hard bristled brush for random stuff like this. I got the whole cockpit all cleaned up. All the gauges are nice and clean. Everything down there is all nice. I wiped down the frame for the bimini. I got the rear area all clean, this uh, changing room and whatnot. All these black specks and all this stuff is paint from the dock. And I think I can get some of it out, like these areas. But my problem is this vinyl, um, it's pretty tough, but when you start using harsh chemicals that remove paint, it's going to remove the dye as well. So. It's kind of a catch-22. You start messing around with it, you potentially are gonna damage it even worse. Um, I got a lot of the stains out of that area by scrubbing it real good. Um, I'm using the, uh, the new Tiger's Blood. I basically poured, I don't know, maybe half of what's missing out of that in a three, three and a half gallon bucket. And then I put probably a gallon, gallon and a half of water in it and I just spread it across and then started scrubbing. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that bucket with water, rinse it all down, and then I'm going to start wiping the interior panels uh, and get them all, per all uh, clean. And then the whole interior is getting super seven, and then I'll be on the outside polishing all of the outside areas. I'm not, not going to be doing the tunes. We agreed that that's a silly idea to polish the aluminum, but I got up here looking pretty good. Uh, right now I got to get down. There's a couple of seats back there that actually go here and there since this is a fish uh, fishing pontoon kind of deal. 
So um, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna rinse the floor and then I'm gonna wipe all the interior walls down and then everything on the interior is getting super seven. Then I'm gonna polish all of the uh, outside areas like that and then everything's getting super seven. So probably got an hour, hour and a half left on this thing and then it's done and then I'll be over there helping the lovely Tony uh, finish that one up. So back to work. All right, so I am polishing this pontoon. Damn it. Um, it looks awesome. You can really see the metallic now that I've polished it. There you go, focus now. See all that metallic in the sun? So I have not done this door. You can see how oxidized the door is compared to, well, everything around it. Cool little deal. Um, I will post a full blown review on this. I picked this up on Amazon. It is freaking awesome. It's a dedicated three inch polisher. It's a 12 volt lithium ion deal. AC Delco is this particular brand. Um, it comes with, I think, one or two of these pads. This is actually the finishing pad it came with. It comes with the backing plate and all that, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the tool, I think you can get it with or without batteries. There's the charger. Um, I have gone through one full battery on this thing. Man, you can really see how dull that door is compared to all of that and all of this. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a quick demo if I can get everything straight. But anyway, I have done the whole thing so far other than that door with that. And um, I'm actually using an infinite finish on it. I, I'm not even using the new smart finish uh, for the one system because it's working awesome. And um, like I said, that one I've already used and now it's charging. And then this one is probably almost dead, but I'll be able to get that uh, door done. So a couple of batteries, I bought several. Uh, actually, I bought extra, extra batteries, but this is the deal and that's the uh, model number. I will do a comprehensive review on it, but just because, this is all the crap it comes with, extra handle. This actually, would, it comes with a wool pad, two backing plates, a sanding disc, actually several sanding discs. And then there's the rest of the lineup of, of this line for AC Delco. But um, I wanna say this was 60 or 70 bucks, totally worth it. I mean, this thing looks awesome, totally worth it. Um, guessing yep that plug right there is where this guy goes I haven't used it so far and I'm probably not gonna need to use it now but I have had to put my hand on it to stabilize it but I have not had to have this handle so um, tight yep tight now all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to situate the door so it's in its position. I'm gonna put a little, little bit of infinite finish on there. And here we go. I've got it on low actually. This is a two speed deal. And I just have it on low. Looks like that handle kind of gets in the way. But yeah, this thing's awesome. Very happy I went ahead and did this. Um, I'm real excited to be able to use this on um, transoms on boats. Um, so, for example, we are doing this, this boat too right now. And... Uh, Tony's over there polishing that, but I actually bought it for transoms on boats, like this lower area around the uh, motor. I mean, this is gonna be perfect for being able to get into these tight nooks and crannies. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. But Tony's over here knocking that boat out. Mm -hmm. 
quick little polish around there. And that looks awesome too. Look at that. Super shiny. Anyway, AC Delco is the way to go. Uh, Milwaukee has a, ver a version of this, but it's like twice as expensive. Uh, so I figured I'd give this a go and see where we were at. Uh, I'm more of a DeWalt guy, um, but this works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing finished up and go over there and help my lovely wife deal with that boat. And then we are going to spray some Super 7 all over these boats. Slather them up. So, show you the finished product here. What I'm doing is knocking off all of the bulk of the polish and then I'm going to take a clean towel and give it a final buff and you'll notice all of the shine that she has that she didn't have before there we go everything looks uniform and nice now all right this thing is officially done I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe down the tunes real quick and then it's officially done until we get to spraying the Super 7. I also had the owner of these, uh, all of these boats and the golf carts. He cleaned up the golf carts for me, put them in the sun to dry, and I'll be spraying some Super 7 on those two carts, this pontoon, and that wakeboard boat. So I'm gonna get back to work. All right, boys and girls, uh, the sunlight is leaving us fast, but I got this Sweetwater pontoon all polished up the outsides all polished and then I uh, protected it with super 7 uh, in the interior I actually had a little issue I hurt my leg earlier Ugh, so I'm struggling right now um, I scrubbed the vinyl floor really well he's got some paint here and there um, it had a huge spot back here in the back which you can see now is not nearly as bad as it was looks good um the vinyl had mold mildew all over the tops which you can see now looks awesome went through all of the compartments i got all the jams clean i got all the stuff from out of the bottom of the compartments vacuumed them out and wiped them down um all the way around Got the windshield all protected with Super 7 as well. All the gauges, everything. I wiped all of that down with Super 7 and all up in there. Uh, the driver's go with a captain's chair, I should say. Was also done the same way. I wiped down the frame for the bimini. Um, in here are the two fisherman seats that go up on the front. Uh, those were cleaned and protected. Those had some mold on them and that kind of thing too. That's the little table that goes right there. That's all wiped out and looking nice. Uh, I also polished and coated the engine cowl and then the section right there. The lower unit was really nice, so we didn't do anything with that. But everything's all polished and looking good. So that's number one. Whoa, I'm falling. See, I can't even walk right. Oh, damn leg is killing me Ugh. so that's one I uh, went ahead and just wiped down the tunes really well to make sure they were clean and stuff but you can see how glossy it is All right, that was step up, man. Look at that. Now there's the Sea Ray. Everything was polished, and then again we coated it with Super Seven. There were steps before, after, in between, and all of that, but doesn't matter. Um, I coated the floor, polished everything in here. Everything was coated in this thing. Looks awesome. All the vinyl 
cool part about Super 7 is uh, we not too long ago changed the solvent that we were using. So now it's uh, safe for vinyl, leather on interior vehicles and that kind of thing. Got the bimini top all cleaned up and we got the tower all done. Uh, glass inside and out was uh, coated with Super 7. I mean, that gloss is insane. Gloss, glossy, glossy. Got the transom all done, the inboard outboard straight. I generally request that we don't put all the cushions and that kind of stuff back into the boat uh, until the next day. So we're what they're doing now is they're cleaning up the big mess that I left out there uh, of all the stuff that came out of the boat. And then uh, we'll get it all put back in there. But that's it. Long day. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. Um, and well, it's another day got some more done. I'm pretty happy with, uh, how things turned out. Uh, if you want to check out something that's bigger than detailing, check out Gary Dean's detail juice nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and what I've got going on. Um, and if I can help you in your detailing endeavors, 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you need to schedule an appointment, uh, you can text me or call me if I don't answer, leave me a voicemail. Um, the voicemail says text me if I don't answer. So do that or find me on Facebook, send me a message, however you wanna do it. I'm a pretty easy guy to get a hold of. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, I got a whole lot more coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.